Today I'll be talking about how to edit bitmap images in Animate CC. I'll be using Trace Bitmap in the Magic Wand tool to do this. Trace Bitmap lets you create vector images from bitmap images, and the Magic Wand tools lets you select portions of a bitmap image. If you'd like to follow along, I've added my flash files to my Dropbox, and you can find the link in the description. Let's get started. Open up the provided file and select the bitmap image. You can see here that my stage color is yellow, so this is part of the image, this white stuff here. We're just going to select this, and you can see that it's selected from the properties panel over here where it says bitmap, and go up to modify, bitmap, trace bitmap. And then there's some settings here you can play around with depending on what you're trying to trace. Generally this works better the more simple the image is, so something like this will probably work okay. So you can see here now this is all vector art and I can just delete things if I don't want them. Or you can stretch out the lines or paint on top of it and that will work just fine. Um, you could turn this into a symbol if you'd like, anything like that. Um, you can see some of the tiny details didn't survive whenever I traced it. so. Um, like these lines here got lost. So we could always try it again and just change the settings up a little bit. And you can fiddle around with it until you get it working the way you want. It's not perfect, but it will work in a pinch if you need to turn a bitmap image into something that you can turn into a symbol. The other option you have is you can use the magic wand tool to select parts of a bitmap. So right now it's not selecting, but we can hit Control B on this image to break it apart. And then right now if we tried to like click and drag on it or anything, it will just move the whole image. But with the magic wand tool you can select the white and just delete that out. It's also not, none of these are perfect for editing images, but you can just come in and probably just use the eraser to tidy it up a little bit further. And that one seems to work a little bit better. And then you could turn it into symbols if you wanted. Um, and then I'll just show you an example of something that's really complicated. And you wouldn't really want to use trace bitmap on this. So in this frame here, you can see that I used the magic wand tool. And you can tell that it doesn't actually turn it into a uh, vector art, it's still the bitmap image. So if you start dragging around, the part that you deleted will be visible in the section that you drag out. And if you select it, it will select everything. See, because it just turns everything into a big muddy mess because it's trying to take a photograph and try to figure out how to make it into vector art, which doesn't work. Then you can also try using the magic wand tool if you wanted to just select it's like a chunk. And you can also play with the threshold for how much it's going to select. So not really ideal for a picture like this, but it might give you a start that you can just use like the lasso tool for afterwards to take something out of the image. That's it for a trace bitmap in the magic wand tool. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any comments, just leave me a message. Thank you for watching.